More than 90 people were arrested during Wednesday's riot on Capitol Hill, at least three of them from Oregon. And today we spoke with one of them, a man who was charged with a curfew violation. Fox 12's Drew Reeves brings us that story. I got done talking to Rod Taylor earlier this evening, and he says he was surprised to see what happened at the Capitol yesterday. He says it's not the reason that any of them were there, but he watched as people in the group became increasingly agitated. As anger spilled to the Capitol steps yesterday, the world watched as chaos unfolded. Pull them, pull them this way. Among the crowd was Rod Taylor, an Oregonian who had arrived at the protest about nine that morning. The overall attitude was one of uh, one of uh, jubilation and yet uh, also determination. It was one of uh, there was a there's a celebratory uh, air, uh, lots of music, lots of prayer, lots of uh, very happy. Uh, uh, political warriors. Taylor says it was in the afternoon when he saw things changing. He says he saw people make their way through the crowd, trying to anger people and get them to breach the perimeter. Some of them had uh, Trump hats on backwards. Uh, some of them did not. But the one thing that they had in common is that they were all uh, angling for agitation. He says after a few attempts, people were able to break through the first set of barriers, despite yells from people not to. They did it anyway, because that's what happens when you agitate a crowd. He says things kept boiling as people climbed the steps and eventually broke into the building. Police responded by using pepper spray and tear gas. This was all down the stairs. There's people, you know, on their knees with people pouring milk and water on their faces. Taylor says he stayed outside and watched the chaos. It did surprise me. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't what we expected. It wasn't what I expected. But Taylor's arrest came later that night. He says after the protest, he was outside his hotel and wanted to show officers a video of what he said was police brutality. And as I approached his car, he said, you're in violation of curfew. And I said, I only think you should see this video. And he said, you're under arrest. He says four hours later, he was released. All of that. And uh, it was a fine of $25. Taylor did tell me he believes that the people who initially were trying to breach the perimeter were not there to support the protest, but he didn't have any direct evidence of that. In Kelso, Drew Reeves, Fox 12, Oregon.